Today, a man and woman accused of terrorizing and shooting at fast food workers made their first official court appearance. These attacks happened at two different restaurants in Northwest Houston, just months apart. Our Michelle Choi was in the courtroom as it all happened. Michelle, what do you know? Yeah, today in court, we learned the two suspects are actually cousins. Both are charged with four counts of aggravated felony assault. 23-year-old Christian Nawabusi, who we learned works as a manager at a 7-Eleven, was the first... Christian Nawabusi. These are motherfucking Nigerians, man. These Nigerians, man. Christian Nawabusi. Aggravated felony assault. 23 year old Christian Nawabusi, who we learned works as a manager at a 7 Eleven, was the first of the two to face a judge. His total bond set at $450,000. Faith Bailey's total bond was set at one hundred and seventy. Nigerian Faith, that's a very common Nigerian. 70000 Prosecutors didn't believe the two would be getting out of jail anytime soon. I believe that these defendants are a threat to the community, their continued action. Why not just give them no bond? Why not give them no bond? Why give them a bond and give them a chance to get back into the community and harm people, if you feel that way? I mean, I know it's not, up to, I don't know if this, this is a prosecutor, so I think that's up to the judge, but I don't know. I believe that these defendants are a threat to the community. Their continued actions show that they are a danger, and I believe that they need to remain in custody pending the resolution of these cases. Back on March 2nd, prosecutors say police were called to a Whataburger off the West Loop and 18th Street, where they learned a manager was shot. They say surveillance video showed Bailey getting into a heated argument with employees, then leaving with her food. Seconds later, they say she returns with Nawabusi, who starts shooting. According to a Whataburger manager, Bailey claimed her online food order was wrong and she became angry. Nawabusi is accused. So her online food order was wrong. So she went and got this guy, and he immediately came in there and started shooting. Well, you've been hangry. Come on. Tell me you didn't shoot the place up. That's the power of being assisted in, in anywhere, in right. the country, um, worldwide. <laughs> Shit. You can always find hey. somebody to fucking throw their life away. Well, hey, Ock, did you uh, see the, situa the situation at the airport? Where? What airport? I think it was down in Florida. What, today? It had to be either today or sometime this weekend. Mm, no, I didn't see Like that. it was an all-out brawl. It was like three chicks all-out brawl with the uh, TSAs. It was crazy. Put it in the see back. see if I can yes. find it. All right into a heated argument with employees then leaving with her food seconds later they say she returns with nawabusi who starts shooting according to a whataburger manager bailey claimed her online food order was wrong and she became angry nawabusi is accused of shooting Think at the about that your online food order was wrong that's such a um easy thing to resolve now don't get me wrong don't get me wrong. You can go and ask, say, hey, man, this is fucked up. And the person could be like, oh, I don't want you got to speak to a manager. Or I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, but eventually you can get that resolved. If you can't solve this problem without calling another man to come in there and throw his life away, like his life, not come in there and fucking, you know. Just... Yeah, I think this guy is like his sweet, her sweet cousin that had to be a bigger bitch than she was about the order being wrong and went in there and threw his fucking life away. Yeah, but this is common though. This is oh, not absolutely. like yeah, this, no, this isn't a one off. This is a yeah, you know, it family or fuck buddy, somebody will throw their life away for you, apparently. Yeah, it don't take like being like some kind of like like type of person or this having this type of personality. All you gotta do is be black turns with Nawabusi, who starts shooting. According to a Whataburger manager, Bailey claimed her online food order was wrong and she became angry. Nawabusi is accused of shooting at the workers, hitting another manager in the arm before taking off with Bailey. Prosecutors say investigators later connected the cousins to a similar shooting that happened only a mile away at this jack-in-the-box back in January. They say security footage showed them in the drive through and Bailey arguing with workers through a window. Shortly after, they say Nawabusi is seen 
and shooting as Bailey curses and hurls items at the workers. Police say that altercation began after Bailey became upset she didn't get enough cheese on her taco. Fortunately. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, does anyone notice a pattern? And they want these people on the street. And they don't have no bond. They have a bond. It's just like, what, 40, they got to pay $40,000? But it's Houston, so they got to find a bondsman that'll take a payment plan, and they'll be out tomorrow. I mean, if it's, if there's any justification for keeping somebody behind bars on a bond, it's <laughs> shooting because there's not enough cheese on your taco. I mean, that's and, like, man, you, you stub your fucking toe will set you off. Yeah, it's, it's, it's. <laughs> Wow. That's a low bar. That, yeah, that is. I can't think of anything less stupid than that. <laughs> or getting someone else to shoot somebody because you had not enough, like. Cold fries or whatever her bitch was at Whataburger. That's the part. Like, she was able to, on both occasions, she was able to summon some psychopath to come and shoot people man and, and i'll tell you what that i don't care what the fuck anybody says i don't think they're just hanging out as cousins something's fucked you, up about that relationship maybe but i mean like yeah i mean it could be that but also like as a black person man like no one like that's not like that look common, man. Like, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, if your, <laughs> if your female cousin call you, you, you there, you there more, you know what I'm saying? Just as much as if it was your girlfriend. Like, it's, it's, it's it ain't that deep. It could be, but I, I feel you. But it, it don't have to be that. You know what I'm saying? It don't have to be. Yeah. They don't have to, they don't have to be fucked. It, it's not a, it, it could just be like, it's, yo, hey, cuz, man, this nigga had to, at the care at the at the um, fast food joint, such and such, they messed up my order. All right, I'll be up there in five minutes. Like, it, ain't, <laughs> it, it ain't that deep, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I get I get where you coming from. Though. I do. I, I, I trust me. I get where you. But it, it but then, but let me tell you something. Like like even this alone, th there's no fixing this woman. Like she's just got to go to prison forever. Him and her, like there's no there's no rehabilitation for not enough cheese on a taco. Like nothing's gonna, nothing's gonna ever change. It's like life, and it's not worth it. Like to think about it. why, what do we? What's the risk reward for us trying to like save her life and and not you know ruin her life? Why should we as a society think about not ruining her life when yeah. she's done this? to a Whataburger off the West Loop and 18th Street, where they learned a manager was shot. They say surveillance video showed Bailey getting into a heated argument with employees, then leaving with her food. Seconds later, they say she returns with Nawabusi, who starts shooting. According to a Whataburger manager, Bailey claimed her online food order was wrong and she became angry. Nawabusi is accused of shooting at the workers, hitting another manager in the arm before taking off with Bailey. Prosecutors say investigators later connected the cousins to a similar shooting that happened only a mile away at this jack-in-the-box back in January. They say security footage showed them in the drive through and Bailey arguing with workers through a window. Shortly after, they say Nawabusi is seen shooting as Bailey curses and hurls items at the workers. Police say that altercation began after Bailey became upset she didn't get enough cheese on her taco. Fortunately, no one was hurt. In court, Bailey's lawyer argued his client's situation was significantly different than her cousin. Prosecutors disagreed. She is equally a danger to the community as the defendant that pulled the trigger. If Bailey and Nawabusi make bond, part of their bond conditions include no contact with each other. They're also not allowed to go to any fast food restaurants in Harris County. So any fast food restaurants, the fuck? Uh, you don't want to go yeah. anywhere? Man, that's like, rough. Like, like, no, you're not allowed to go anywhere. Like, yeah, fast food was your trigger, guys. You right, know, like, like what the fuck? It's such a it's such a <laughs> idiotic 
they fundamentally don't understand the situation, the, the system. These are gliders. This is built for gliders. You don't, if you, if they can't go to a fast food restaurant, you, they can't go anywhere. Public, if they go right. to a museum, if they go to a fucking museum and the goddamn one of the paintings ain't is, is not no longer being shown at that museum, they might shoot somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just look at it like these it's a people man. come from a place and their parents come from a place where life is bought so cheaply <laughs> that they think that's probably normal behavior. So they just come here and they go fucking bananas. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, it's like if they go to the fucking supermarket and um the fucking um what uh they want some crab legs, but crabs are out of season, or they want some goddamn watermelons, and watermelons are out of season. They might shoot somebody. This is not yeah. a fast food problem. Sunny people can't go to a movie house without shooting the fucking screen. <laughs> it's like you, you gotta watch. Like next time you you see a woman with her children, a black woman with her children, like and the kids aren't like two and like maybe they're like four or five. You don't watch her. She's gonna act like a like a chimpanzee. Watch the kids. They they're mimicking. What their parents do, like the boys will start puffing up, the boys will start puffing up, putting their chest out, walking around in a circle, and the fucking girls will be shaking their head and holding their hand up and bobbing their head all over the place. It's like they're just mimicking their parents, like <laughs> yeah, because they're the first teachers. Yeah, Reg regular Douglas says this is actually uncommon behavior for Africans. Oh man, you you gotta stop thinking stupid shit like that, man. Listen, many of the Africans you see come over here are, are the best of the best, yes, the cream the of the crop. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. They're rich, is what they are. A lot of them are rich and, as hell, and a lot of them too are like like you might have you might have a guy like say you go on um fucking Angie's list. And you need your fucking shed painted. The guy who comes and paints your shed, the African guy that comes and paints your shed for 50 bucks. That motherfucker was a goddamn lawyer back in this country. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're like, they're they're yeah, they're they're different. And that's the and that's the problem too. A lot of people use that that immigrant logic. It's like, yeah, but the like the reason why the immigrants coming across in Mexico aren't like that is because they're just the normal people coming. Exactly. They just exactly. walk the fuck across. You got a whole pond. Yeah. You know. And a plane. You need a plane ticket. You need a visa. You got to marry a fat white woman, or you got to get a fucking work vi a visa, um, or a green card to get over here fr from Africa. Now that's changing because they're going to fucking Mexico and coming across the border. But historically, you yeah. Have Go through hoops to get over here if you're African. Um, you have to go through hoops. And the hoops oh, include God. earring hoops. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just look at any country like Jamaica, Haiti. It's like, fuck, man. Any yeah. African country, too. Like, I don't know if there's any of them that are better off now than they were, you know, 80 years ago. It's sad. Michelle, but, 